Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the XS 2023.3 release. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate the, or show a few highlights about the release and how it will um, improve your your experience using XS. Um, yeah, so the it's the modeler version and manager version 4.8.0. Um, so the three main components that we've uh, worked on is uh, essentially the improved rendering for environmental slices. Um, it's actually some drastic improvements there, um, as well as some um, new environmental slice or field point features that we've also implemented um, and an improved imperial snapping grid, uh, so especially useful for our US place based clients. And then as always, just uh, various bug fixes that we also try to attend to uh, with every release that we put out. Okay, so the first one is the improved rendering for environmental slices. Um, obviously, this is a bit difficult to demonstrate with a static picture, uh, but uh, in the uh, with our previous versions of XS, there was a, quite a significant uh, rendering performance drop when you had a lot of, especially um, uh, discrete environmental slices. Um, so this has now been um, worked on to have a much better experience in that regard. Uh, but I will, when I get to the, the modeler demonstration, that hopefully will become a bit more apparent. Uh, it's a bit difficult to show with this, but it's a, essentially a drastic improvement uh, on the rendering performance. Okay, so the, the next op, uh, thing that we've worked on was some features that we are implemented in the, uh, with the environmental slice or the field point. The uh, first being the custom attenuation option. Uh, so you now have the option to, for a specific environmental slice, you can add a, a specified attenuation to that environmental slice, uh, which will then bring the, the levels uh, shown on that environmental slice down by that, by that, uh, by that value, or by that dB value. Um, this is particularly useful when you have, let's say, a exclusion zone that uh, that's penetrating into a building. Um, the assessor can then um, assess the situation, seeing that this is, for example, concrete, and then they can say this is going to be at least, let's say, a 6 dB attenuation going into this concrete, and then create an environmental slice there, apply the attenuation level to demonstrate that the exposure is still below the guidelines. Um, yeah, so that's a very nice feature. And then the other one is the exposure standard selection option. Um, so in the past, this was um, essentially locked to the the exclusion zone calculation scheme that you use, or not the scheme, the exposure standard that you used. Uh, so now we've had uh, included the ability to change for an environmental slice. Uh, you can change the exposure standard that is being used. Uh, this is quite useful for um, especially our clients that use, uh, for example, uh, using the ICNAP standard, uh, uh, specifically the ICNAP 2020 standard, where you have a whole body limit as well as a, a local limit. Um, the, now you have the ability to um, do, for example, the exclusion zones using the, the, the local the local limit, then using an environmental slice, change it to the whole body limit, and then apply spatial averaging to that environmental slice. All right, and then the next one is the snapping grid enhancements for imperial units. So in the past, this was um, still locked to the meter, um, um, the meter grid, which is by 0 0.1 meters. Obviously, in feet and inches, that is a not a very nice conversion. Uh, so now it is. Uh, essentially 0 0.25 feet snapping grid that uh, so it's going to make it a lot easier to work in imperial units in the modeler okay and those are the th the main features so i'll just quickly demonstrate using the the modeler before i continue with the rest slides okay so here we have a site that um, uh, let me just quickly put this in 
um, unit of measurement in feet. Okay, so the the first thing that we can probably demonstrate is that I've added a lot of environmental slices to to this site. Uh, so if I show hide those, um, not sure if it will be able to see this via the presentation, but this is a very smooth <laughs> experience, uh, especially compared to how it was in the past. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be much smoother. Um, I know there was situations in the past where if you had a lot of slices, it almost becomes unusable. That's no longer going to be the case. Um, so it's going to be a much smoother experience. And then in terms of the environmental slice features, for example, I'm just going to hide these quickly just to demonstrate the next point. Um, for example, where you have these exclusion zones going into this um, this building, uh, penetrating the building essentially, uh, what you can do now is we just hide that quickly, uh, is we can use an environmental slice. In this case, the a vertical one is probably the one that makes the most sense. Um, put it on discrete, and we'll put the offset at let's say minus 0 0.5 foot. So it's going to be on the inside of the building. And then we apply our spatial averaging, maximum value in slice, and then we can run this. So obviously that demonstrates that there's a overexposure on the inside of this building. Uh, but now we have the ability to add this attenuation factor. And let's say the assessor would look at the situation see that there is no windows and stuff like that. And then you can say there's going to be at least an attenuation of, um, let's say, for example, 6 dB, which I can then put over there. And that then will bring this values down, or the entire slice down by that specified amount. Yeah, so that's quite useful for, uh, for this situation. OK, and the next feature that I can probably demonstrate as well while I have this CAD open uh, is the tape measure. So at the moment, I'm set to feet. So this is going to be a bit better. Uh, this now has a 0 0.25 snapping grid, which is a much better for imperial units. OK. Um, yeah, so the other point that I'd like to make, I actually want to open another site. Just to show show that as well. Okay, so um, in this situation that I'm showing here is that we have a an antenna that has, has been simulated. Um, this is done in um, with ICNEP 2020 whole body. Uh, but now we have the ability to, for example, let's change this to ICNET 2020 local. And this then needs to be point spatial. So we can simulate that. But obviously, this environmental slice would then also go down that route. But now, so in the past, the, by default, it would be also still locked to the to your to the same standard, but now you have the ability to specify the standard and then select whole body. In this case, you can then, actually, let me put this, this is a better, better explained in meters. And now we can select our spatial averaging scheme. In this case, let's select the uh, IEC standard and then we can run this. All right. So now this is the exclu uh, the environmental slice is in whole body, uh, the whole body averaging um, with the IEC standard, and the exclusion zones is now using the local standard. So there we can do the low input of two meters, which then gives you both um, of those uh, essentially the e exclusion area for both of those standards. Okay. 
All right, that is just our quick demonstration. And I just want to go back to our slides. Okay, um, yeah, that's essentially what we've been working on for XS2023.3. Uh, I uh, just want to also um, just give a quick, like a sneak peek of what we're working on at the moment. Um, so these are the, the, the stuff that we're working on at the moment. Some of these have already been um, completed, but uh, some of them not, and they're still under testing. Uh, so one of the big things is the set, the ability to set additional custom color levels and colors for the 3D exclusion zones. Um, in which case, this is uh, very much, again, aimed at the US market uh, to have the ability to set um, different levels or, or additional levels with uh, different color schemes for the 3D exclusion zones. Um, also, the custom color schemes for geometry, um, so where you can select a specific color for, for your geometry, not just the normal brown as we've all uh, come to be um, to to really love. Uh, also generic annotations for mitigation. So essentially lines and stuff that you can draw with uh, that's a bit more in a generic fashion, uh, especially useful in reports. And also more enhancements on the environmental slice calculation, um, especially like for the uh, uh, the computational efficiency essentially making calculations run faster. Uh, we're also doing work there with the environmental slices. And then the ability to save default settings for environmental slices. You don't have to set, um, uh, change the settings all the time. And then obviously also continue to update our new unified antenna database. All right, and then I just want to draw your attention again to our support channels. Uh, so you can always send an email to support at xsup.com uh, or even that's almost preferable to log a ticket on the help desk. That makes it nice and easy for us to to track uh, and um, and uh, discuss with, the, with the, the person that created the ticket. And you can also log a support call or at uh, Calendly com and x forward slash xs and then also just remember that there is a feature um, ideas section where you can log new feature requests um, on the help desk knowledge base as well and that is it thank you very much